Thank you, Deborah. This year, Americans are expected to spend more than $8 billion on Halloween. And when you look at the costumes, the candy, and the decorations, it's no wonder some families spend hundreds of dollars a year. So this morning, we're taking action for your money, sharing some tried and true ways to save on Halloween costumes. Local mom blogger Janie Porter of She Just Glows is with us with some very special guests this morning uh, to help us figure out the Halloween costume situation. Yes, because it's literally ridiculous how expensive <laughs> some of these costumes are. Um, Best and places to look online? Online is a great place to start. Obviously, we know about Craigslist, but I recently discovered this website called Thread Up. I don't know if you've heard of it, no. but it's basically um, a consignment hey. shop that's online, and it's nice hey. stuff um, at a discount, and they have a Halloween costume section. Look at this. Um, and so they're all basically at pennies on the dollar, and they're used, but that's fine. fine. And what about, I love maybe asking friends if they have costumes that you can borrow or buy from years past on social media. That yes. works? Oh, see, we have Power Rangers starting to fight yes. each other and stuff. You know, this is what happens <laughs> with three and five-year-olds. Um, social media is a great place to go. I actually belong to a few garage sale groups on Facebook. And so if you, basically it's people who want to buy, sell, and trade different items. And why not go on and see if any costumes are out there? What you do is go on Facebook, search your city or your county and garage sale. Oh, wow. And a bunch of groups will come up that you can join and then ask, hey, do you have a Power Rangers costume? Do you have a, a firefighter costume, for instance? And now is the best time to do it. What about local consignment shops, thrift stops? Will, will they have costumes as well? They absolutely do. And a great other thing to do they is... They are just fighting crime over here. Like <laughs> you know, we've been waiting for this segment for an hour, so they are ready to go. Um, this is one of my favorite costumes I did with our family. I did, like, a surf and turf, and the baby's lobster that costume was borrowed from a friend of mine. Um, and it was just so easy to ask her. Obviously, it's free, and you just can't be shy. Um, and then, yes, consignment and thrift stores are, of course, a great way to go. But there are also consignment sales um, all over Florida. I don't know if you've heard of Ray Alana, but it's basically a big consignment sale, garage sale. Uh, they're taking over now. You can also uh, make your own, though, if you're a little crafty. Yes, and that's what I did uh, when my son was one, back when I had a little more time. Um, we had a fishy costume that I really used, like yeah. an old onesie yeah. and about $5 Bravo. worth awesome. of felt. Awesome ideas. And I'm sure these are posted on She Just Glows. Absolutely. Hey, do you guys know what to say when you ring a doorbell or knock on the door on Halloween? What do you say? Trick or treat. Trick or treat. All right, trick or treat. We hope you guys have a great Halloween. Of course, we're going to post all of these costume ideas and a link to Jenny's website on our website at actionnews.com. We'll be right back.